So today for lunch, I thought I'd make me a catfish cubion. Uh, pretty simple recipe. Go ahead and start off with uh, one cup of flour. And we're gonna not quite use a whole cup of vegetable oil. So I'm gonna put about, eh, about three fourths of it in there. And then I'll see if I need to add any more. And you, you really don't. So I'd say about one cup of flour to three-fourths of a cup of vegetable oil although you can do it one for one it's the same I mean but I just try to use the less oil as I can so basically we're gonna make a roux got this on a medium low flame and uh, just cook it till it gets a nice brown to it stir often so don't you know burn all right we had the uh, about eight minutes now and that's how we currently looking It's just starting to get a little brown to it. So the key is just keep stirring. You don't want it to uh, brown in one spot uh, too long because it'll it'll singe it, it'll burn it. And uh, having one of these flat sided spoons uh, really does help to uh, scrape the bottom. So that's how we're looking now. We're about 10 minutes in. Gotta get, get a little brown starting on it. And I'm not making a stew, so I'm, I'm not going to get a super real, real, real brown. So that's kind of a comparison with a penny. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my vegetables to it. And we're at uh, about 11 and a half minutes. Go ahead and add our uh, onion and celery to it. As well as our bell pepper and garlic and we just let this get a nice little brown to it and keep in mind as soon as you add your vegetables to your roux the roux will stop browning at that point so make sure you get it to where you want it before you add the vegetables because uh, it won't brown anymore once you add the vegetables to it all right, we're at about five minutes now. Go ahead and add two cans of the uh, diced tomatoes. And we'll get that mixed up really well. And I will go ahead and add the uh, tomato paste to it. And we'll get that mixed up really well. Keep in mind when you add the fish to this, it's going to make a lot of water. So I'm going to add two cups of water. And I may add some more. Let me get it mixed up really well and then I'll see how it looks. Okay, that's still pretty dang thick. So I'm going to go ahead and add two more cups of water. And we'll see how that looks. And I may add some, some water here as it cooks down. But currently, that's how the gravy looks, nice and thick. Now we'll go ahead and add some seasonings to it. And we're adding a half of a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of cayenne, one teaspoon of Old Bay, and one teaspoon of salt. We'll get that mixed up. And after about a couple of minutes, I'll give it a taste and see what else I gotta add to it. All right, we've been about 10 minutes. Gave it a taste. Uh, the pepper is pretty good. I feel a little tang from the pepper. I'm going to go ahead and add another teaspoon of uh, salt and uh, Old Bay. Salt was pretty much nothing. So, and I'll keep doing this. I'll add some more if I need to. I'm going to get it set about five minutes. Then I'll taste it again. And we'll go ahead and add two more cups of water. The gravy was getting pretty thick. It's starting to stick a little bit. And I'm going I'm to just let this simmer for about one hour. And this is uh, one more teaspoon of uh, salt. Still really not salty yet. Pepper's perfect. And I'm going to add a half or more teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to call that good on the uh, salt. Just cover it. And we'll let it simmer, like I said, for uh, one hour. All right. Everything's uh, done with the gravy. Uh, I took the lid off the last 20 minutes or so. Just to let some of the water cook out. That's how we look. 
still a pretty thick gravy. Like I said, that's going to kind of, uh, it's going to thin up when we put the fish in. So what I'll probably do is uh, I'm going to dry the fish off with a paper towel or kitchen towel just to get some of the moisture out before I drop it in because I don't want to make it too watery. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off and uh, just let it sit here until I'm ready to put the fish in. The fish is only going to take about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So you don't want to overcook it because it'll fall apart. Now this is a uh, totally optional, but I like cutting all the blood out of it and this little film you see here. And uh, what I usually like to do is take your fish. You can basically cut it right down the center. And you see the bloodline in there. I just take my knife, a sharp knife, and basically just run it real thin under it, and you get all that bloodline out of there. So I like doing that with any kind of fish. Uh, they pretty much all got a little bloodline in them. So just like I said, run it, run it as uh, shallow as you can, and just cut all the bad stuff out. And when I get to the very end, I usually just kind of cut it off and toss it. So let me get all that done. Okay, and for this recipe, I'd say you can use probably up to four pounds of fish. Uh, I'm using uh, two pounds. This is this ended up being exactly two pounds once I trimmed all the uh, the bloodline out of it. So yeah, just to me, it gives the catfish a little bit better taste. And uh, got most of it off, so it should be pretty good. Uh, probably can't tell, but uh. This here is a channel cat, and this here is what they call a goujon. Uh, it's a little bit more of a uh, delicate, more, uh, the meat's a little bit more delicate than a channel cat. Still good. And once you got your gravy back up to temperature, I went ahead and scraped down all the sides and everything. Go ahead and add our catfish to it. And uh, I dried it off first with a uh, kitchen towel clean one that way uh, it won't make too much extra moisture in my pot because uh, nobody likes a watery cubion that would just not be good and I'm just give a little stir to get everything well mixed and I uh, will go ahead and cover it and we'll let it simmer for about 15 minutes and I'll check the fish and see if it's done all right uh, I've been simmering about 13 minutes and uh I picked this piece up and it kind of broke off, so I'd say we're done. Uh, you know, it is a freshwater fish, so you you got to cook it till it's it's done, because uh, could be dangerous if not. Uh, so yeah, between uh, 10 and 15 minutes, I think you should do it. Uh, yeah, it's gonna get to a point where it's just gonna start falling apart. So at this stage, I'd say we're done. And there you go. That's how we look. Got a little, nice little bed of some uh, basmati rice. And uh, don't forget to, uh, as you're eating or before, I don't want to stir it too much because the fish are all going to break up. But take your bay leaves out, you know, or just take them out when, when you plate it. Like I said, the fish is just starting to fall apart. And that's pretty much, you know, that's about where you want it. Uh, yeah, that's going to be. Uh, absolutely delicious well let's give a little taste and see what we got get a little bit of the catfish get a little bit of the rice <laughs> of course i'm gonna put a little hot sauce on that when i eat it at the table but for now i'm gonna just do it just like this mm -mm -mm. that is perfect and those bay leaves give it a real nice taste very good. Salt's pretty good in it. I don't think I add no more to it. Got a good spiciness to it. Very good. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thanks.